Hello everyone, uh, this is Ryan Baxter again and I'm back to give you another quick tutorial of the uh, Open Social 2.0 collaboration application. Uh, this time I'd like to give you a tutorial of how Embedded Experiences works inside the collaboration application. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Embedded Experiences, Embedded Experiences was introduced in Open Social 2.0 as a way for applications to embed their content in other applications. Um, so, as an example, uh, in a minute I'll show you how uh, we're actually able to embed a video from uh, YouTube into um, the collaboration application. And not only can I embed the video, but I can actually post and interact with the content uh, by posting a comment back to that video. Uh, and it looks as if it's posted uh, back to the collaboration application, but it's actually posted back to the YouTube site. Uh, so to show you this, uh, this first entry here in the act in my activity stream is a video Betty Zeckman has posted. Uh, so if I click on this, uh, I, I, the uh, video actually renders, and then I get a pop-up that comes up that asks me if I'd like to allow um, content, uh, allow um, access, uh, the gadget to actually access um, the YouTube content on my behalf. And this is all um, part of the OAuth dance. So uh, the primary uh, way of doing uh, inter interacting with content, uh, secure content, uh, on a third-party uh, host is by using OAuth, um, and that's supported in the Open Social specification. So I'm going to say I do allow access, um, and this will actually close, and you'll see all the comments from this video are actually uh, rendered here. So I can I can watch the video obviously here in line. Um, but I can also, uh, like I said, post a comment. I can say, you know, this is a great video. If I press enter, the comment will uh, get posted, uh, appended down to the bottom here. Um, but if I go back out to the YouTube site, you can see uh, that my comment was just posted here 11 seconds ago. So you can see we are actually uh, the comment, uh, the content uh, from YouTube. So if I head back uh, to the collaboration application here, uh, you can see how uh, that embedded experience works. Now, uh, another benefit of embedded experiences is that um, because of the way it's architected, uh, you can actually use one gadget for many different videos, right? Um, so what I'm basically doing here, and if you go out and read the open social specification and read how you can create your own embedded experience, you realize that you can pass this context information to the gadget. And the context information in this case is actually um, it, the ID of the video. So I have one gadget that I can render, that I can use to render a comment on any video that's out on YouTube. So here I have a completely different video inside this time inside of an email um, where uh, it's a demo on um, using um, Window Builder Pro for uh, SWT development. Um, so same exact gadget, everything under this header is actually the gadget um, and uh, but completely different content this time. So there's actually another uh, uh, example of an embedded experience in my inbox as well here. Uh, you can see this first email Dennis Michaels has sent me uh, an email uh, uh, to fill out a survey from Survey Gizmo. And if you've used Survey Gizmo before, you'd know normally that when you get a uh, uh, request to fill out a survey, that in the email will be a link, and you click on that link and you go to Survey Gizmo's website and fill out the survey. Instead of doing that, we've actually embedded the content of the survey um, into the email itself. So now I can fill out uh, the, the uh, survey uh, right in line here. So I can say uh, joe at example.com. And I arrived in San Francisco at you know, uh, on August 24th. And yes, I have. And I can actually submit the survey right from my email and um, away I go. And it allows me to stay in context, focused on what I'm doing, and not have to uh, leave the, the context of the application I'm in. So now that you kind of have an idea of what embedded experiences are, um, you probably want to build your own. Well, you can build your own, but how do you test it out? 
we can actually test it out inside the collaboration application itself. And I'll show you how to do that. So last time I showed you how to add a gadget to the page, but you can actually add embedded experiences gadgets to the page as well. So if I go to the customize button and I select um, add embedded experience, I can see I get a slightly different form than I did when I was adding a gadget with a few more fields to fill out. Now all these fields are basically uh, fields inside the data model uh, that you would need to use to as the, uh, that represents the embedded experience. So if you go back and look at the open social specification, you see that each one of these fields uh, correspond to a field in the data model. Now some of these fields are optional and some of them are required. Um, so you need to uh, make sure you fill in the correct ones before you add your gadget. And this UI actually won't let you add um, your gadget unless you have filled out all the necessary information. So I actually have some information here that I'm going to copy from uh, my text editor and uh, paste into here. So um, I'm going to use a preview URL, even though the preview URL is actually optional, uh, but it, it does add some nice, uh, nice things to the UI. So I'm going to copy this preview URL here, and I'll paste that into here. Uh, now I need to either enter a a URL uh, to a page or a gadget URL. Well, my embedded experience is actually a gadget embedded experience, so I'm going to enter uh, my gadget URL, which is this. And um, I also need to enter a context information since I'm using a gadget. So um, my context information uh, for this gadget is here, so I'm going to copy this information and I'll paste that in here as well. And I'm going to add this to the activity stream this time. So what this gadget basically does is allows you to view uh, pictures. Uh, it's like a photo album viewer, so you can view pictures from, um, you know, out on the internet. Um, in this case, we're viewing uh, a few pictures from Flickr. So I filled everything out so I can click Add. And you can see uh, a new entry was added to my activity stream here. And like I said in my previous video, this uh, everything on this is stateless, so as soon as I refresh this page, that entry will actually disappear. Uh, but for the session, it's still good. So I can now I can uh, click on this here, and it will actually render my embedded experience. You can see this, in this case is a fairly simple embedded experience, just rendering uh, a few URLs uh, as a photo album, right? Um, I can also uh, go back to my customize button and uh, choose to render it in the inbox as well. So I can uh, put it there as well. You can see there's a new entry added to um, my inbox. So I can click on that, and that will also render the same gadget uh, as an email. This is a good way to test out how your inventive experience gadgets work. So if you're looking for uh, help or information on how to get started developing embedded experience gadgets, I suggest you head over to the Getting Started page. Uh, this page has a bunch of information on how to get started with uh, embedded experiences. But the last link here is a tutorial specifically for embedded experiences. It takes you through how you, uh, from, from uh, start to finish, how you develop uh, an embedded experience gadget. So I suggest you read that. Also on this page is uh, a form you can fill out if you're interested in uh, being an early adopter of embedded experiences. So. Uh, if you want to uh, be an early adopter of embedded experiences and probably have your embedded experience featured on the collaboration application, um, please fill out this form um, and your information will be submitted to uh, the Open Social Foundation and we can uh, contact you uh, to uh, talk to you about doing that. Uh, so that's about it for the embedded experiences tutorial and I look forward to seeing everyone's embedded experiences. Thanks.